So Chicago's Guinness Open Gate Brewery is only the second one in the country. There's a tap room, restaurant, and bakery housed in a former railroad depot. Yeah, well, they don't brew the Guinness stout there. That's always imported from St. James's Gate in Dublin. They do have a rotating experimental drafts using Midwest ingredients, and we decided uh -huh. to uh, try our hand at some brewing there. The Guinness Open Gate Brewery is where 260 years of Irish brewing expertise meets American beer creativity. There are three Open Gate breweries in the world. Uh, Guinness is brewed at around 50 breweries on earth, but to be able to walk in as a regular everyday person off the street, grab a beer, grab a bite to eat, learn something about Guinness, there are three breweries, Dublin, Baltimore, Maryland, and now Chicago. So this is about as special as it gets. What can you do when you get here? I mean, goodness, the sky's the limit, right? You walk in, you see the brewery first and foremost. That's again, the big reminder that this is a working brewery. You can walk through a really cool retail shop, things that you won't find from the Guinness World anywhere else. Uh, you'll then pass through our bakery. It's a big part of who we are from a community standpoint. We're donating 10,000 loaves of bread to the uh, Greater Chicago Food Depository, part of our community give back efforts. And then once you pass through the bakery, that's the big reveal, that's the tap room. So above the bar, a 7,700 pound harp uh, suspended above that bar. It's the big kind of the big ticket item. That's where everybody stops and takes a picture. Uh, and once you're in that room, it's all about the food and beer. I think at our at our heart, that's what we do. We're, we, we exist to build bonds between people. And I think nowhere are those bonds stronger than when you're sharing a beer, sharing a bit of food. That's what we look to do every day in that tap room. A lot of folks in the U.S. think about Guinness. They think about a beer. They don't think about a brewery. And this place exists to really flip that idea on its head. Uh, so we're excited that you know, 99% of the beer that people are gonna try when they're in this building is brewed right here on site. So of the 12 or 14 taps that we'll have going, all but one are brewed here in Chicago at the moment. So it's a really exciting time to dig into everything that Guinness can be, not necessarily everything you think you know Guinness already is. As National Ambassador for Guinness, I get to do a little bit of everything, but the one thing I don't get to do is what you, G and Sarah, are gonna get to do today. We're inviting you into the brewery. You're gonna work with our brewer, Meg. You get to brew the beer today. I don't want any part of it. I know how hard it is. Uh, so good luck. Don't make a bad one. I'm a brewer here. Um, I'm start to finish making the wort, you know, monitoring fermentation, cleaning tanks, kegging beer. So start to finish, I'm it. Let's start by milling the grain. So brewing does require a little bit of heavy lifting. Is this a team activity or like, are you doing it by yourself? Well, you go ahead. Oh my! <laughs> We start with the grain. Okay. If you spill a little bit, it's fine. Most of the time it's malted barley. That'll go into the brew house and we're creating a sugary water in the brew house, which is called wort. I really wore the right outfit for this. <laughs> I am so mad you are dressed to be a brewer. <laughs> we're gonna have you weigh out the hops that we're gonna use for our Whirlpool edition next. Okay, and what are the hops? That goes into the beer too, right? Yep, so this is a German hop called Tradition. It looks like gerbil um, food, pet food. Yeah, pet so food. hops don't actually look like these. These are pelletized versions of the hop flour, uh -huh. um, just for ease of use for brewers. Oh, cool. But if you um, if you rub them in your hands, mm -hmm. you, can, you can smell them a little bit better. It expresses some of the oils in the hops. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Smells like a hoppy beer, totally. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to be, um, we're going to use it in the boil today. So when the wort's boiling, we're going to add some hops. That's it. And Meg, what's this? So now we're going to start taking out the spent grain that we've used in the brewing process. So the grain that you put in the mill earlier is eventually going to end up here. And once we've used all, or taken all the sugar we want out of the grain, then we're done with it and we need to remove it. Okay, so we just open this here. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. So don't, it might fall off on you if you don't do okay. it too much. Just and then it. just, yep, and then just go ahead and open it. Nice and oh, slow. <laughs> nice and slow. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just trying to catch it. I'm just trying to catch it all. Here is all of our spent grain. Spent grain, yep. Okay. So we took most of the sugar out of it, but you can still eat it. Okay. Um, it's just going to be slightly sweet, sort of tastes like a bland oatmeal. And this is all going to go to composting. That's called the hot side of the process. Once we're done with that, we'll cool it down, put it into a fermentation tank. It'll ferment anywhere from one to two weeks, 
condition for anywhere from you know one to six weeks and from there we're just carbonating and kegging. Of course the best part of brewing is that we have to taste test right? Gotta try it. Yeah so obviously this isn't what we're making today but this is a beer that's done fermenting and is now conditioning. This is our um, it's a dark Czech style lager. Scale of one to nine. You guys you guys were a ten. You guys were great. Honestly a lot of brewing is just trying every day, putting your effort in, and you guys were there and doing it today, so you guys did awesome. Ooh, delish. You like it? Yeah. That's really good. We showed up. You showed up. That's half the, that's half the job. <laughs> <laughs> I wore the wrong outfit. It's okay. It's all right. I wasn't really fussing at you. I didn't even you. think about it. I'm like, why am I wearing a dress to be a brewer? Sorry to them. <laughs> to find out more, head over to their website, GuinnessBreweryChicago.com, or go to their official location in Fulton Market to check it out for yourself. <laughs> you know, I, they, they cut out the part where Sarah and I had to taste test the actual we stout. We had to taste You know, stout. and it was, it was a tough day, you know, of work. We deserved a couple <laughs> pints. That place is amazing. Let yeah. me just say, we love that place.